Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in Network Analysis and Synthesis. Today I'll discuss a very important theorem uh, of Network Analysis which is Reciprocity Theorem. The statement of Reciprocity Theorem is that if any linear network consisting of linear and bilateral impedances and active sources, the ratio of voltage V introduced in one loop to the current I in the other loop is the same as the ratio obtained if the positions of V and I are interchanged in the network. And uh, while doing so, the sources other than the one considered must be replaced by their internal impedances while calculating the ratio. So in its simplistic form, I'd like to explain the reciprocity theorem using this uh, small little uh, network that we have drawn over here. Now, according to the statement that I've just read out, the reciprocity theorem says that if you have a network which has some voltage in one loop, so over here we have a case where the voltage E is present in uh, the first loop or the left loop and because of this voltage here there is some current in the second loop which is represented by I. Now the reciprocity theorem says that the ratio of E upon I would remain the same if you would change the location of this E into the second loop and you'll calculate the current in the first loop. So in other words if we were to redraw this network to calculate reciprocity we'll, we'll simply move this voltage source over here. Now please understand rest everything remains the same as we did not have any other sources active sources in the network so we will not replace those sources with their internal impedances however all the impedances are kept as they were and of course the current now is calculated in this loop. So according to the statement uh, the positions of V and I are interchanged in the network. So by interchanging the positions of V and I um, we mean pictorially like this. So in this network the uh, the current which was flowing in this branch particularly in this branch we have placed E so this E can, could, could have been placed here, here or here it doesn't matter but it ha has to be placed in, in the same branch where the current was being monitored and uh, the, the position of voltage source is changed and Secondly, now we calculate the current in the same branch where the voltage source was located. And if you if you do simple mathematics now, in this case it will be E upon I and they both should be equal. This one and this two, they both should be equal. Now if you were to calculate the uh, ratio of E upon I by a simple network theorem uh, you'll find that this ratio of this network and this ratio of this network would come out to be equal. I'll not go into the details of calculating E, and, uh, e upon I on these two networks. Um, I'll, I'll take up a specific example uh, where I'll solve a question by the reciprocity theorem with 
with real impedances in place. And this was just an introduction to reciprocity theorem. I hope you liked the quick introduction and its explanation. And I'll see you around in the next tutorial. Uh, if you liked the contents of this video and other videos in the same series, consider subscribing to the channel. And take care. Bye.